What's up, guys? It's the Spent Man coming to you from the beautiful North Country. We're starting to get a little frosty here in the North Country, and uh, that means we uh, get to scrambling and bringing in all of our um, produce, all of our potatoes, corn, carrots, beets, anything that we want to save for seed. We got to scramble the harvest before they get frost killed. And um, thinking about or ruminating on this concept of harvest um, in a broader sense, a lot of us uh, modern people or so-called civilized people live in a constant state of harvest. Um, it's like the world is a corn stalk and it uh, is going to fruit in perpetuity and the people in society simply walk up to this corn stalk and harvest the ears of corn uh, forever and this is kind of the way that our modern economy is set up it's the way that people uh, conceptualize their relationship between goods and services is this mindset of constant harvest, right? Uh, like, you know, Adam and uh, the Garden of Eden uh, going to harvest the forbidden fruit. And all the stuff and all the videos that I post here, um, we're just showing people the work, uh, the work that goes in to achieve the harvest because the harvest is the end point it's the conclusion and it's the connection to uh, this regenerative cycle that we help facilitate um, in nature so if uh, we go about life in this disconnected modern way um, we're living in this state of constant harvest uh, which can be good um, modern people have a lot of different things to do. They trade their time to make money in different, uh, maybe, oh, <laughs> critter getter got me. And, um, people go about making their money in the modern world in, uh, more efficient ways, uh, than farming and, um, the ways that the uh, current economy makes possible because let's face it, um, the modern world makes it nearly impossible to uh, farm and make a living. And uh, that's just the truth. But the point that I'm getting at here is that uh, in order for us to grow as people individually um, and even collectively, um, we need to get back to nature and we need to recognize the different steps that it takes to get to the harvest. And um, we need to give respect to the cultivation of the soil, the uh, fertility and uh, fertilization and uh, the cycles that we facilitate to keep healthy fertile soil. Um, we need to remember the sowing of the seed and uh, all the work that goes into getting proper germination and uh, the weeding and the cultivation and all that work that it takes to get a healthy plant to grow, to produce um, good, high quality, healthy fruit. But if we conceptualize our whole life and we only look at the harvest, this perpetual harvest that mankind lives in, we overlook the growth and all the different work that goes in. Uh, and in turn, we don't even know to recognize the work that we need to personally put in to achieve the outcomes that we want. Um, and this is the, uh, the perpetual axiom, right, of um, reaping what you don't sow. And so 
even if it's in a metaphysical sense, you know, not everyone needs to go move out to the country and farm to make money. That's not what I'm saying. But um, re uh, recognizing and respecting the work that it takes uh, to achieve anything uh, through these uh, natural cycles can help us and uh, realize that we need to put in the work, we need to put in the cultivation, we need to uh, fertilize the soil and keep a healthy terrain um, in order to grow and uh, to reap that harvest because the harvest is that much sweeter when you put in the real work. Um, but anyway, guys, I got work to do. I'm about to get back to digging up these potatoes before they get frost killed here in the beautiful North Country. Um, we uh, showed how we did all the work in uh, the videos previously, and now we're out reaping the rewards and getting in touch with our creator status, right? Because we have a co-creator and a creator status in life, and those people that want to convince us uh, to give up our power and to give up our ability to create uh, want to create a monopoly of power um, over us uh, to be used against us. So, uh, yeah, buddy, put in the work. Recognize the work that it takes to get to harvest and uh, tap into that creator energy and that creator spirit because uh, once you lose it, uh, pretty hard to get back. But anyway, guys, I'm going to stop rambling. Um, but thanks so much for watching from the beautiful North Country. This has been The Spent Man. It ain't all about the harvest, but it is sweet. Yeah, buddy.